the Joe Rogan experience. I mean, I grew up loving Woody Allen, and, and that's a tough, as a Jew from New York, that's a tough one to swallow right there. You it know? is now. Try rewatching Manhattan, and if you're comfortable watching it, you're probably a pedophile, you know? I don't remember Manhattan. It's incredible, but it's fucking weird. What year was that? It's in the 70s. It's uh, black and white. It, my friend Ron on Hirschberg has a great line about that movie where he said it's basically a romantic comedy for pedophiles because the end of the the end of the movie is not like I fucked up by dating a high school girl. It's that he's sad that it didn't work out. Really? Yeah. I might not have ever Mariel seen it. Mariel Hemingway. Oh, uh, you know what? I, I definitely didn't see it. It's, uh, I mean, it's... So she's the, in high school? The op- she's a... Get this. She's 18 at Dalton, which is where Jeffrey Epstein taught. And uh, this is the 70s. That's when he taught there. Alan and Epstein are... But this is my... I mean, I, <laughs> it's a little weird, right? Yeah. I mean, here's the fucked up part, though. The opening is the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in a movie. It's just his, like, love letter to New York. It's gorgeous. And I, I grew up, like worshipping Woody Allen. He's done some weird shit. He definitely has. Yeah. I mean, there's no doubt about it. He married his stepdaughter. I mean, that enough. That that that's alone enough. is not good. Yeah. No. I mean, that's crazy. And then there's allegations from the other uh, kids. Yeah. Were they coach? Were they not? They, I don't know. I the mean, one it, kid. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I don't know. But it's enough to go... It's enough to be bummed. Yeah. It really bummed. Yeah. Yeah, you ever listen to his stand-up, his old stand-up? It's brilliant. It's brilliant. He was a great, that's what's, where you're like, oh, you were a great short story writer, mm-hmm. you're a great stand-up, you're a great filmmaker, and then you do some weird jazz thing on the side that no one, yeah. I have friends who are like, do you want to watch him? Like, do, do I want to watch the thing he's fifth best at? No. <laughs> do you want to watch me play checkers? No. Fuck that shit. I don't want to watch Woody Allen at the Carlisle. I could give a fuck. I guess if I was like really a hardcore Woody Allen fan. I'd go watch it just really? to see him do something that he loves, you know, eh. maybe. The Carlisle where you pay $26 for a Manhattan. I would go see like Hunter S. Thompson play drums, you know, <laughs> even if he sucked. <laughs> just because I was such a Hunter fan, you know. I loved Woody Allen. Like it, that, that is like, he, he loved New York in a way where we felt cool as yeah. New Yorkers to be like, fuck Woody Allen, it's Woody Allen. I used yeah. to see him on the street all the time and he was just, anytime you'd be like, Woody, he'd just like run. It was amazing. <laughs> he'd just run away from you. <laughs> Uh, I'm, but I when, knew what him year a, was this? Post, po- post all the. I was working at a summer camp in the summer or something. And I was like a counselor, and I saw him, and I was like Woody, and he just ran. <laughs> Which, weird to see him run away from kids, <laughs> but uh, <laughs> you know, uh, Woody Allen, uh, Annie Hall is like the. I mean, as comics, that's like the. Yeah. That's like the prototype right there, where you're like, whoa, you made. It's also the perfect rom com because they don't end up together. Like there's so many, right, it's such an right. un-Hollywood at that time, especially rom-com. Yeah. yeah and Diane yeah. Keaton fucking rules. Yeah. Diane Keaton's great. Uh, what was the film that he made with, uh, who was the guy with the fucked up nose? Jeez. Owen Wilson. Owen Wilson. Yeah. He, we're, uh, he was what too old. What a sad old. way that that's how you're identified. Well, he's a handsome guy. He's, he's a handsome but guy. But he's got but a fucked up nose. It is fucked up. It kind of works with him because he's so handsome. Like having that fucked up nose kind of balances it out where you like him more. That's a great movie, Midnight in Paris. It is very good. But it's him. He's playing Woody Allen. Like Everyone is. John yeah. Cusack and Bullets yeah, yeah, yeah. Over Broadway. Yep. He, another yep. great movie. Another great movie. Woody yeah. Allen. All, you playing Woody. They all just feel real bad about working with him now, though. It's so strange. Like yeah. they, they try to kind of defend him a little bit, and the only one who's ever defended him, like, I get, I mean, they all kind of avoid it when they can, but it's one of those things. It's like, what do you do? Yeah. I mean, it's tough. He's one of the greatest. I mean, Polanski's another one, right? You think yeah. of like the greatest movie. Uh, Chinatown's one of the greatest movies ever Fantastic made. Fantastic movie. It's impossible to watch that and not. Th- see, I'm not enough of a film guy to like notice you know, great cinematography. When when you watch that movie, you're like, every frame looks beautiful. Yeah. It's insane. Yeah, sometimes creeps are really good at a thing. Isn't that? (laughs) (laughs) Creeps are good too. (laughs) That's, the problem is throughout history, you know, when you're, we we were talking about this the other day, that like Socrates and Plato, a lot of these guys that we associate with some of the most brilliant things that anybody ever wrote were pedophiles. Yeah. Like, there was a lot of that going on back then. And, Maybe There's, that's where they got their their powers or something. Fucking kids just makes you really good at your art. I don't know. I don't think so. No, no, I don't think so either. <laughs> <I> was... <laughs> but uh, what's his face? Uh, uh, fucking Baldwin. Alec Baldwin. Yeah. You know, he's the only guy that like defends him now. 
You know, yeah. Like pretty openly. Well, that and, guy needs some allies. Yeah, he needs somebody on his team. <laughs> did you see Tim Dillon did Alec Baldwin's podcast? I, saw, I thought that was like the most on-brand perfect thing. <laughs> I saw that I was like, good. 